The Biden administration has proposed new corporate average fuel economy cafe standards with the goal of significantly reducing vehicle fuel consumption by 2035. The plan aims to achieve an estimated average fuel economy of 58 miles per gallon by model year 2032, requiring car companies to improve fuel efficiency by 2% annually for cars and 4% annually for light trucks starting in model year 2027. The proposed standards also include a 10% annual increase in fuel economy for heavy-duty pickup trucks and work vans from model years 2030 to 2035. The National Highway Traffic Safety Administration NIDSA estimates that these measures would lead to a 48% reduction in the country's total fleet fuel consumption by 2035. The proposed rules do not consider electric vehicles EVs or alternative fuels in determining automaker compliance, but car companies can use EVs to meet the requirements. As a result, the NHTSA estimates that the proposed standards would result in around 56% market penetration for EVs by 2032. The administration claims that the proposed standards align with Congress' goal of conserving fuel, promoting American energy independence, and supporting the American auto manufacturing industry. The plan is expected to save Americans more than 88 billion gallons of gas and result in approximately $52 billion in savings by 2050. The new method proposed by the Department of Energy to calculate fuel economy in the plan could make it more challenging for automakers to meet the standards. However, the NHTSA is legally bound to consider the technological feasibility and economic practicability when determining the final rule. The proposal is in line with the Environmental Protection Agency's emission standards, which aim to have over two-thirds of new vehicles sold as EVs by 2032. While praised by environmental and consumer groups, these proposed rules faced criticism from automakers and Republicans, who argue they effectively mandate EVs. If the proposed standards are implemented, the NHTSA estimates they would prevent more than 900 million tons of carbon dioxide emissions and save consumers $50 billion on fuel during the lifetime of vehicles. Overall, the agency estimates that the benefits of the proposal will exceed its cost by more than $18 billion. The plan will undergo a 60-day public comment period after its publication in the Federal Register.